Hello everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. In this video, I am going to talk about MotoWave, cryptocurrencies, and all the fun stuff you can do with MotoWave. Um, I'll be doing a workshop live on how I've been doing stock market picks and implementing and trading them and using a live trading strategy, very simple one. Uh, there's not a lot of math, quant math needed. There's no programming needed. Um, but I can offer the source code and, uh, that's another conversation, but let's talk about MotoWave right now and cryptocurrency. So one of my email, uh, subscribers emailed this query this is why I'm doing a video. Uh, and he says, I have been working with MotoWave for a very long time and developed a strategy, which yields good return on cryptocurrencies in this day and age. That's pretty strong doesn't happen a lot. Uh, you might have heard my podcast recently about altcoins. Um, the problem is that MotoWave currently does not support perpetual future contracts on Binance, uh, Kraken, any other uh, crypto exchange. This is true. Um, there are other platforms that are dedicated to that. Um, but then ask yourself, do they have a upcoming mobile app? That's a key question you should ask where MotoWave does. They've been posting their uh, previews and this thing is solid. It's built from scratch. So it's gonna probably be the leading uh, trading platform on the app. So that's a big, big thing you need to consider over the, over, uh, the long term. All right, so let's talk about currencies, uh, future contracts and uh, namely, let's say Bi Binance or Kraken. I've done both, but not on MotorWave. As this person says, you can't do future perpetual contracts at all. Um, now, when it comes to those, I've done extremely well with... Now, this is all virtual. It's not real. But virtually, when Bitcoin went up from around was it 16000 to over $60,000 in a very short period of time, that futures contract made or that futures bought, which was in Python, made up to $2.1 million from one price of Bitcoin at the start within four or five months. So the upside is very, very high. Um, now, you just heard the keyword Python. There is no tool that I know of that can do future contracts. And if they do, you're probably really restricted. My only recommendation is just to get into uh, Python. Now, fortunately, I got a course to show you how to do that using technical analysis. And yeah, technical analysis is still wise um, and so on. So this person says you're now looking for a new way to trade our MW strategies on these perpetual contracts. Again, you're probably going to have to revisit that code and probably port it over to Python where you get the more uh just better flexibility that no platform is going to give you uh namely a big one that is a concern when it came to this strategy that worked it was just pounding the exchange servers i did it for both kraken and bitcoin kraken being uh futures contracts which they support and it would only work on either bitcoin or ethereum because at the time uh XRP, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash didn't have a lot of uh, uh, volume going through them. So why would you waste the uh, computer resources? And this for this type of strategy, it was really important to really minimize and cut out all the wasted computer resources possible. So that led me to believe you only focus on the highest volume, uh, highest volume, uh, crypto coins out there, obviously Bitcoin and Ethereum. Now, uh, and it was pounding those servers really, really hard. And um, it, it was, I wouldn't say, well, it, it could, I would consider potentially high HFT. Um, just to give you a lesson out of that, uh, and that was virtual, you'd be probably looking to pay around 25% in commission fees. And um, that would be normal if you're on, even on Binance. Uh, now, let's talk about the current market conditions right now. This, again, for that type of strategy uh, was when it was momentum-based trend following. And because the momentum was behind that huge, huge move with Bitcoin, um, 
it was a no brainer. You're, you're going to make money no matter what. Now in this, this market condition right now in 2023, I'm not sure if this, this, um, strategy will work, especially for momentum based. Now, if you're doing mean reverting, and even if you're doing market making, um, you got to ask yourself with all the wonkiness going on with a lot of these exchanges now, um, give you an example. I, I've looked at Coinbase Pro as well. The ability to do this, not worth it because the, the commission fees were way, way too high, but really only one to work with is, is, is Binance from because they had the lowest commission and obviously the highest uh, liquidity and volume. Now, in today's market condition, not sure if you're going to get what you're looking for unless you are um, going to use uh, the the uh, uh, high speed uh, ones I'm using. And as I said, mean reverting. <clears throat> um, in terms of Binance, I'm not sure they're 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 getting closely watched, so they're going to be still. I don't know if they're going to do a lot of the questionable monkeying around with orders that they're kind of rumored to be doing lately. Uh, I just don't trust Binance at all. By Kraken would be okay. Uh, I think it'd be okay on the volume wise for Kraken as well, because obviously those are the two highest um, highest uh, volume coins out there. And right now, from what I'm seeing, uh, Kraken retail wise on the spot markets, the third highest um, highest uh, exchange out there because all the bigger ones have gone out of business or were cheated out or whatever. But Kraken's the only one I trust. Now, if you're doing futures trading, you got to be realized for um, depending upon where you live, you may not be able to do it because of uh, regulation. But in North America, you can do it anywhere in Canada except for Ontario, Canada. Uh, Quebec is, might be a good spot uh, to be based out of, uh, but you also have to show your residential status as well in uh, that province that you decide to trade out of. And they will use and they still may support a banking uh, account uh, from the bank with the branch's address in, let's say, Quebec, whatever province. So you can kind of get around that. Now, in terms of um, the strategy itself, as I said, you're going to have to more, more likely look at swing trading or mean reverting style strategy to make money. A lot of people from what I'm seeing are doing, uh, market making. Uh, so that would be more on an exchange like DXDY, uh, BISC, a few other ones that I've read. Um, but again, <laughs> I got. I'm gonna be. I gotta forewarn you. If you're gonna do this style of trading, depend again where you live. Uh, you gotta make sure you're above board with your tax authorities because uh, the tax the tax authority will come after you if they know you're doing trading. And obviously, if you're going through a legit uh, uh, exchange that's doing KYC, know your customer. Um, they will report you or they'll the exchange the the tax authority will know about it and they'll know exactly what your trading records about so as i said you got to stay above board there if you're trying to do it on a unregulated exchange i wouldn't do it um now not saying i give up on crypto as as it stands i love crypto i love the utility of crypto i think crypto has a big future as i said with the altcoins they're just too cas casino Operate. I wouldn't touch those even in the spot retail market. Um, and just listen to my podcast on that. Um, and right now, that's probably the best thing to do is to learn Python, depending upon your coding skills. You will have to know Python fairly well to achieve what you're looking for, especially in the futures market. As I said, I do have a course available on it. Um, that'll show you all the basics to keep. Um, high speed database there, Redis, a true uh, open source, no freemium crap for Redis, pure Redis. And uh, technical analysis is covered and all that. It's still very valid. I think it, it shows you uh, using CCXT uh, how to do all of the connections in the different um, exchanges as well. So it's got all the basics there to, to do an end to end bot for the futures market. Um, but again, 
uh, strategies. And everyone's well, there's no strategy in there. Of course not. There's no strategy. It's just to show you the infrastructure. So if you want to know about about that, I'll put that in the um, in the uh, description. And um, yeah, I think that uh, of course may go up in value soon. But uh, jump on that if you're really serious about that. If I don't know what your uh, skill level is for uh, Python. And that's purely designed for trading bots on crypto. You could probably apply the same logic with um, any other uh, broker, like interactive brokers or OANDA that do support Python. So you could kind of apply the same logic, just a different connection in there as well. So there's options there, um, but I know I'm using the MotoWave logo here. I still MotoWave think is the best training platform out there. And so I'm going to have a live training workshop on how to use that as well. So we'll leave that for now. If you like what you're hearing, you want to get on my email list to know what I'm doing. I'll be doing some, uh, we'll call it just higher quality content, unique content, uh, as I'm purging out a lot of the old Deadwood content, which is about 80, 90% across my quant-labs.net and quantlabs.net slash blog as well. So I'll be purging a lot of that old content in there. And that includes the performance of this training bot I was talking about, the 2.1 million. So that may that will disappear as well. But um, we'll leave that for now. Um, but if you need more help, just get in touch with me. And I just wanted to make this video because it's a better way to communicate and it's going to hit up a broader audience as well with videos. Anyways, thanks for watching, and um, yeah, go to quantlabs.net slash books for that email list, and you will find that there, and just opt in. You get a free PDF of some neat little window-based training tools that might help you out if you're a non-programmer. Other than that, we shall talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Have a